Welcome to the second video in our training series for Be Air Aware. This training will walk you through each activity in lesson one, just breathe. First, gather all necessary materials. Provided in the kit is an empty water bottle, a resealable bag, lung patterns, flexible straws, sandwich bags, and a tote bag. Not provided in the kit are a timer, scissors, and tape. In activity 1.1, students will learn that air is all around them through the mystery bottle activity. The Maricopa County Air Quality Department provides one mystery bottle or empty half liter water bottle in each resource kit. Begin the lesson with the water bottle hidden in the tote bag. Students will try to guess what's in the mystery bottle. Use the teacher script in blue font to help guide the discussion. After students have guessed the contents of the bottle, remove the bottle from the tote bag and don't be surprised if some students think the bottle is empty. Actually, it's full of air. Next, you will demonstrate that even though air is invisible, you can prove it takes up space. To do this, you will blow air into the resealable plastic bag and zip it shut. The inflated plastic bag shows students that air takes up space inside the bag. The plastic bag should be discarded after use. In activity 1.2, Students will learn how air enters their bodies as well as how many bottles of air they breathe in during just one minute. For this activity, you will need a timer and the half liter water bottle. A stopwatch or phone timer will both work for this activity. Students will count the number of times they breathe in during one minute while you time them. Discuss the results using the blue script to guide the discussion. On average, students breathe in 16 to 20 half liter bottles of air in just one minute. Over time, that adds up to a lot of air. In activity 1.3, students will create their own model lung using flexible straws, plastic bags, and a pattern. The Maricopa County Air Quality Department provides lung model patterns, plastic bags, flexible straws, and laminated instruction cards. You will need to provide scissors and tape. Now let's watch a demonstration video. I'm going to show you how you can make a model lung using just a few simple materials. You'll need a pattern. You will also need two straws with bendable ends, like this, as well as two plastic sandwich size bags. Now you want the kind that fold over at the top, so not a Ziploc bag. And then finally, you'll need tape. You can use either masking tape or clear transparent tape. I'm using clear transparent tape for today's demonstration and a pair of scissors. Let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is cut out your pattern pieces. So here you have the lungs with a windpipe or trachea, a nose and lips. So cut those pattern pieces out. It can be a little tricky sometimes to cut in here because it's so narrow. So take your time, don't rush through it. And when you finish cutting out your pieces, you will have three pieces that look like this. So here is the nose, here are the lungs, and here are the lips. Just set those aside. Take the two straws with the bendable ends and you wanna put them together like this with the bendable ends pointing down and you can pull those out so you have what looks like an upside down Y. Now you're going to take the tape and you're going to tape them together nice and secure. I'm actually going to tape them in two spots. I'm gonna put them, a piece of tape here, nice and tight here, right at the very top. And then I'm also going to tape them down here uh, where the upside down Y part begins. 
So let me go ahead and do that. Second piece of tape. And again, masking tape works fine um, if, if that's what you have available. Okay, so now you've formed the trachea or the windpipe, and this goes down and branches off into what will be our lungs. Now, to form the inside of the lungs, you're going to take one of those uh, plastic baggies here. Let's find the opening, the top right here. I'm going to put the end of one of the straws inside the bag, and then I'm going to kind of scrunch up the top of the bag like this. I can even kind of twist it around. And then I'm going to tape it to my straw. I'm going to use two pieces of tape today. I want to tape it nice and secure. So wrap it around like so. You want to make sure that no air escapes out of the top of the bag. Now I'm going to check this and see when I pulled on it a little, just very gently, how the baggie started sliding off of my straw. So that's where I'm going to take that second piece of tape and up a little higher. I'm going to tape it nice and securely like so and hopefully all right now when i tug on it gently um, it does not slide off of my straw you're going to repeat those same steps on the other side with the second baggie once you've done that you will have a piece that looks like this now you're going to take those pattern pieces that created you you cut out earlier and you're going to attach them to the straw. So to do this, you'll need to make uh, two or three tape loops. And tape loops, super easy to make. Sticky side out, just like that. And I'm going to start with, I think, uh, my nose. So let me find that pattern piece. Here it is. And I'm going to put that tape loop on the back of the nose pattern piece. And then right up at the top, I'm going to gently attach it to the two straws. All right, so another tape loop, and I am going to attach the lips. Okay, again. I'm going to put my tape loop kind of in the center of the back of the lips and then I'm going to position it a little bit below the nose. You can kind of play around with the placement there. So now I've got my nose and my lips and then finally I want to put a tape loop right here in the center of the back of the lungs. Just like so. And then I'm going to place that right here under the lips. Okay, so now I've got all the parts of my respiratory system. And this is the really fun part. The kids can put their mouths on the top of the straw, blow through it, and watch their lungs inflate. Have fun. Now join me for the next training video on lesson two, our recipe for air pollution.